Salads don't have to be boring, guys. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Hey guys, so I'm back in the Eater Food Kitchen and I am bringing to you a very bomb tasting salad. All your salads don't have to be boring. Let me tell you something, they could be delicious and I always say once you have contrasting flavors and textures, listen, there's nothing that cannot make a salad make you feel like you ate a nine course meal. So truth be told, when I made this salad, I literally had nothing in my fridge except squash, lettuce, and that's about it but I made it work and maybe some tomatoes so today to commemorate breast cancer awareness month I am taking it up a notch and we're making a roasted squash or pumpkin salad with a nice grilled chicken breast so stay tuned I don't know about you but when you roast vegetables it really brings out the sweetness it brings out the caramelization um, and it, it just takes the level up a notch so here we have some pumpkin which is a member of the squash family so if you do have the squash it's fine you could use pumpkin and we are going to roast this in an oven at a temperature of 400 or 425 degrees and we're going to season it up with cinnamon yes a cinnamon stick we're going to use some salt and pepper we're going to use some garlic and also we are going to use some dried sage now sage is a very fragrant herb it is a member of the mint family it doesn't taste like mint but it is it is so fragrant and it goes great with chicken and also with roasting veggies so let's season it up right so we're going to start to season up our squash or pumpkin and guys you could use any vegetable you want i also like zucchini um i also like red peppers but in this case we are using the squash or pumpkin right so we're going to pour it Ooh! <laughs> noise in the kitchen if you're making noise in the kitchen you ain't cooking right so the pumpkin is in and we're going to drizzle it with some waitrose lemon infused olive oil double whammy you get the olive and you get the lemon one time we're going to add some pepper yeah and some salt you know me we have to season every layer and now we're going to add some cinnamon now i know a lot of us maybe um cinnamon and pumpkin is very reminiscent of fall we don't have fall in trinidad but it doesn't mean we can't enjoy a little fall flavors right so some cinnamon powder and i like the idea of having an actual cinnamon stick and some garlic we'll reserve some later for the vinegar that we will make for the salad and my secret ingredient is sage so we're going to add in some sage and we're going to toss it up my hands are clean so any of you who want she doing it with her bare hands my hands clean right so you want to make sure you coat everything and the key to roasting vegetables is making sure that you have even knife cuts and the producer did a very good job as usual um, because you want even cooking right so you're just going to season it up a bit and you would want to lay this on a baking tray don't let the vegetables overlap give them breathing room so that they can caramelize if you put them too close they're going to steam and you don't want that you want the brownness right now because this is tv we already have the we already have some roasted veggies already done so let me show you what that looks like nice not listen this producer is something else so you see they have really shrunken a lot in size but that's okay i am so tempted to taste one mm. <laughs> i line all you it's sweet it is soft you get any garlic you get any cinnamon it really is a nice flavor really really nice i really really love this so you see what has happened when you have nothing else in your fridge and you're wondering what to cook listen you could always invent something you'd always come up with something new so this is our veggies right here so now we're going to move on to the chicken and i'm going to give you guys some tips of how to grill chicken breasts i know some people say oh god the breasts dry yes breasts can be dry if you don't know how to do it properly so i'll show you how right so we get into the breasts or the best part that's my kind of corny joke <laughs> um we are getting now to 
pan sear our chicken breast. Um, and if you are a thigh person, you could go ahead and do it. The thighs a little bit more um, fattier. But I think for salads, the breast works better. And I'm a breast person. And so is the producer, as you saw in his last video. And my favorite part of the chicken is the breast. All you know is a breast man. So go and slice a piece of that and probably have it with some veggies or something. So we're going to pan sear this breast and we're going to make it yummy and juicy. So we have a cast iron skillet here and I must say, listen, this producer have everything. We have a cast I don't even have a cast iron skillet. But this is looking really, really good. And of course, if you have a cast iron skillet, you know that you have to season it first before, right? So we have it on a medium high heat and we're going to use cuisine oil, of course. I'm going to pour it in. Now we're not frying chicken, so you don't have to put like a lot, but maybe about, if I were to eyeball, it's probably about two or three tablespoons. We're going to move it around. And be very careful with this cast iron. Right. So when you see it starting to bubble, you know it doing something. Right. So we have some chicken breast here. We have about three pieces. I'm going to have two. The producer's going to have one. And we seasoned it before with some green seasoning. And now I'm going to add some dry seasoning. So we have your onion powder. Some garlic powder. Some paprika. Or you could use cayenne if you want it a little spicy. Black pepper. And of course, some salt because we want the food to taste good. And then you just season this up a bit. Right? Now you can leave out these seasonings if you want. You could season it how you want. Um, but I think having a nice rub along with your traditional green seasoning, I think that works out really, really good. Right? And we're going to go straight. You can let it marinate. But um, I'm hungry and so is the producer. So we're just going to hit the frying pan or the cast iron skillet one time. Maybe I just want to bring it down a little bit. So I'm just going to put them in and this is the noise that we want to hear. Ah! <laughs> the sizzle! Right, so we're going to put in, you don't want to crowd your pan, so I'm going to put in two at one time. And here is the key when you are pan searing chicken breast, right? do not try and move it before time it will tell you when it's ready right um to cook chicken properly it's supposed to come up to temperature to 165 degrees we don't have an internal thermometer so a good way to gauge is once the chicken breast is maybe about one inch thick you are cooking on either side for about five to seven minutes and remember do not move it before so once it's given you some resistance, that means the chicken say, hey, I ain't ready to move yet. I ain't ready to flip. So when, it, when it's movable, then you flip it. And it's smelling great already. It's getting the seasoning, the paprika, the garlic, the onion powder. Really good. All right, so it has been about five to seven minutes. It is smelling good. And Remember, I was telling you about that you, you will know when the chicken is ready to be flipped because it will move on its own. And by that, I mean it would not give me any resistance. So look at that. You see the juices and returning. Guys, look at that color. Look at that color. Woo! Nice. And we're going to let that go for another five, not as, not, maybe not as much as seven minutes, but maybe about five minutes. And then we're going to take it off and let it rest. That is so key when you are cooking meat, steak, chicken breast, whatever. Before you slice into it, you have to let it rest so these juices will be distributed. If you cut it before time, then all the, just, all the juices will just run out. And sometimes that's why the breast be dry. So we don't want a dry chicken breast, right? We're going to let it set and rest. Right, guys, so it has been about five minutes on the other side. I'm now going to take out the chicken breast. Yeah, and you all see the color. Nice, it's not burnt, it is nice, golden, fragrant, yummy. 
switch off the fire and we're going to set it right here and remember i said we're going to let it rest for about five minutes for the juices to redistribute and then we will slice it up Right, so we're now on to the vinaigrette or the dressing for the salad, and you can't have a salad without dressing it, come on. Now, remember I was telling you guys before that when I made this recipe, I literally had nothing in my house. So at the time, I just used balsamic vinegar and honey mustard, and it tastes real good. But today, we're going to take things up a notch. So we have some balsamic vinegar. We have some lemon infused um, olive oil from Retro's again, and it smells just like olive oil and lemon i kid you not we have honey salt and pepper and some garlic so very very simple so you're going to pour in some of the olive oil and some of the balsamic vinegar now if you want to make this asian you could use soy sauce if you like yeah um and also i actually kind of like to add some actual citrus but you don't have to but if you have a lemon on hand you could squirt some lemon in there we're gonna put in some honey maybe one or two tablespoons to your liking and then we're gonna taste this some garlic get all of that in there salt well that was pepper this is the salt and salt and you're just gonna whisk vigorously so the next step is now for us to assemble our salad right guys so we have come to the best and final part we are putting the salad together and today we are using artisan lettuce because i little fancy um you could obviously use regular lettuce you could use romaine you could use whatever lettuce you want but i kind of like how the artisan lettuce looks you have these nice little um you know kind of burgundy endpoints or at the edges and you eat with your eyes and also we're using some arugula now arugula is something that i've heard about for years but only was able to taste it for the first time this year and it is exactly what they say it tastes like it's kind of peppery and if you remember watercress my grandmother used to feed us watercress growing up it kind of reminds me of that but not as bitter more peppery so if you're shopping at Massey or the next time you shop at Massey, look for it and incorporate it into your salad. So I'm going to take out some and put some in my bowl. Oh, that peppery arugula is so nice, right? Put in some there and we're going to dress it. Now you're not going to bait down the salad with dressing, right? It's a light, you know, because you want to taste the other ingredients. So you're going to lightly dress it. And then please, my hands are clean, you're tossing it lightly, you're caressing it, you don't want to damage the leaves too much. So you're just lightly dressing it, making sure it's evenly coated, which it is right now. You can taste it. Yum. It tastes good already with the, um, the dressing. So imagine when we add the other ingredients. So we have some chickpeas from Cuisine here, and I'm just going to drain it. Ooh, that... Um, vinaigrette it coming through it's singing and if you're not a chickpea fan you don't have to use chickpeas you could use corn if you like you could use red or green peppers we have some green peppers actually to use all right so just going to take some of the chickpeas and pour it in i am actually not a super chickpea chickpea fan <laughs> but it works great in salads right toss that up a bit we're gonna add some green peppers. Now, ideally, we would have wanted red peppers, but it was a little scarce. And you could grill these before if you like for added flavor. And the piece of resistance, our roasted squash or pumpkin, just gonna add it in. And you can see it has some nice color in there from the caramelization. Nice and soft and tender. So let me add some more add it in there and we're going to put on our chicken breast now which is nicely cut i snuck in a few pieces before and it tasted really really good 
And for me, a salad must have contrasting flavors, but also textures. So I'm going to top it with some roasted almonds. You could do it with walnuts if you like. Obviously, if you have a nut algae, then leave the nuts out. Um, you could also toast some wheat jam. And like I said, if you wanted to make like this salad Asian, you could put some black sesame seeds. So here we have our salad and I am ready to dig in. So, so we have the flavors here. We have the texture. Let me see if I could get a piece of the chicken. I am most excited about the squash actually. Pumpkin. Why well, I keep saying squash? Pumpkin. So let's go. Mmm. Mmm. It's sweet. It is tangy. Some of the balsamic vinegar. Nicely salted. You get in some of the garlic. It really is a nice and hearty salad. And very healthy and perfect, perfect um, to celebrate Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Special thanks to Cuisine for sponsoring this episode of Simply Local. Of course, you could get Cuisine products at Massey Store sold nationwide. And guys, try out this salad. It is the bomb. I know the producer is a little jealous because he behind the lens and I eat it. But try it out.